Good afternoon, this is Mr. K from Beckman Catholic with an update on Tuesday, April 14th. Um, let's get started with some information sharing today for all of you. All right, and here we go. <clears throat> so uh, Governor just wrapped up her press conference in the last hour. Uh, as of today, we have just under 1,900 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the state of Iowa with 17,000, nearly 17,500 negative cases. Again, we're asked to continue to remind us to limit travel to those essential items, practice good hygiene, and continue to practice social distancing. One of the pieces that came out of today's press conference was that the governor released a new website that'll be available later today for information, and that's uh, coronavirus.iowa.gov. If you go there, the website is live, but they'll be adding some new interactive maps as the day progresses. Tomorrow, April 15th, we start our required learning process. Um, teachers are already sending out information via email to students, so students, please start checking your uh, Beckman email. Um, we're asking you to do that at least twice a day. Um, and looking in your email addresses, you'll find information from your teachers. I've seen some of that coming out today. Uh, in our phone calls last week, one of the things that was suggested or asked by parents is if we could have um, some information somewhere that you could look and have one spot where you'd find out what's going on each week with classes for teachers. So I wanna share with you what we've put together for that. It's still a work in progress, um, but if you go to the Beckman Catholic homepage, so beckmancatholic.org, and I'm gonna pull that up for you to see. On our, right on the, if you scroll down to our message board, you can see there that we have online class information listed for weeks one and week two, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll be doing weeks Monday through Friday or Monday to Sunday once we get started. This week's week will be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's April 15th to the 17th. Um, but we're asking that at the first day of the week, so by tomorrow at noon and then by next Monday at noon, that, that our teachers post on this website um, information in regards to what's happening in their classes. So on the screen, you should be able to see um, each teacher is listed alphabetically. The first column of information is when they'll have their office hours available. The second is where their materials are gonna be located or how they're gonna be submitted. And then in the third column are the activities and assignments that'll be due for that week. So as you scroll down, you can see that each teacher is filling, populating this information in. Um, and many of them are, and they're listing this by course. So you can see the information there that needs to be completed. Again, this is due by uh, the first day of the week by noon. So this is still a work in progress and it'll be continued to be updated by staff as we go but you can look there each week. Again, it'll be right on our homepage and then click on the week and that'll be a spot that you can get this information. Continuing on, just wanna also let everyone know that any streaming session that is done either through office hours or an optional piece that a teacher is doing, uh, most will be using Zoom or Google Meets, um, we are going to record and archive those just for safety purposes, and that's being done to protect your students um, and also our staff as well. So just be aware that anytime we do something online with students, we'll be recording and archiving those. And archiving means it's not necessarily for publication, it's just we'll save a copy of that um, here on one of our local servers. Also, I want to thank everybody who came in yesterday to get their materials. Uh, if you missed the pickup yesterday, um, or you forgot to pick up materials, you can contact the office. You can send me an email to make, make arrangements and we'll go down to your locker, grab the items that you need and have them available for pickup at the front of the building. Also, just wanna remind folks that when you're working at home, you should be wearing your school uniform students um, and you need to send an email of us uh, to show that you're in compliance. It's a, it's a school rule thing. So every time you're doing your schoolwork, we want you to be in your school uniform. So you can send a picture of yourself in your uniform to uniform at beckmancatholic.org. And I'm not serious about that, I'm just kidding. Um, really, I do wanna to talk to you about a few things though, um, because some of you are probably wondering what are some things that I can do from home to help me get in that school mood or that school mode. So here are some real tips about some at-home learning pieces that you should take a look at. The first one's probably the most important, and that's to create a schedule every day for when you're gonna do your schoolwork. Take a look at the day as a whole and set aside a couple of hours where you're gonna do school. Maybe that's two hours in a row. Maybe it's an hour in the morning and an hour later in the afternoon. Um, one of the advantages of this is you can do school when it works best for you. Not everybody's a morning person. Not everybody's an evening person. Some people work better in the afternoon. 
find the time of day where you feel you can be most successful or where it works in your schedule with the other things that are going on in your life right now. But it's really important to be consistent in following that schedule and setting aside, setting aside that time for school each day. That's probably the most important tip that I can give you as we work on this. Um, you should, even though you don't have to wear your uniform, it is good to get dressed and get ready. It helps with that mindset of getting you into that school mode. So just rolling out of bed in your jammies and hopping onto your computer might not be as successful as if you take a shower, you get dressed, um, kind of get ready for the day. So think about that as well. Another piece is to find a good spot at home where you can make it your school area, freed from distractions and um, kind of where you can do school most effectively. At your house, maybe that's at your kitchen table. Um, maybe you have an office at home or in your room you have a desk that you can work at. But find your school spot to do your school work um, and find that area and, and try to use that each day when you spend those couple of hours doing your school work. Also remember, keep check that email at least twice a day. That's gonna be our primary method of communication with you. And the other piece that I can't stress enough is ask for help when you need it. Um, when I used to be a teacher, one of the things I talked to students about in my classroom was, I don't know if you need help unless you tell me you need help. Um, unless we get to an assessment and you don't do well, then maybe I know you need help. But uh, your teachers are here to help you as best they can remotely. We're, at, we're here in the office to help you as best we can remotely, um, but we need you to reach out to us if you need that help and then we'll provide what we need from you. So be in communication when you need help and we'll do what we be the best that we can to help you out with it. So those are my serious tips. Again, I'm completely joking about the uniform thing, um, but I needed to put some humor in. There was a really good April Fool's joke that was running around that's saying everybody had to repeat grades. But at that point, I didn't think it was very appropriate um, to do that in the midst of what's going on. Didn't want it to scare people, but I thought that the school uniform thing could be a little bit of good humor today. Uh, just a couple other things to share with you today as well. Um, we're going to start posting daily prayer on our Facebook page and sharing the video via Beckman email. Um, Father Tyler's going to do prayer tomorrow, and then we're going to have various staff members participate in leading daily prayer. We also will continue to do rosary on Tuesday mornings via our school's Facebook page and also the YouTube channel. And then just a reminder that daily mass is available live at 8 a.m. Mondays through Friday on our YouTube channel and our YouTube page as well. Uh, STO, quick reminder on that again, once again, that those applications are due for round one tomorrow and that 2019 tax information is required to finalize that application. If you miss round one, there is a round two. That deadline will be on July 15th. If you have any last minute questions, please contact Nikki in the office. She'll do her best to help you. There's also on the FACTS website, which is where the applications are um, submitted. They have a helpline there as well, and you can call them for additional information. Yesterday, uh, I saw a news story on KCRG about a new resource for driver's education. So this would be for eighth and ninth grade parents and uh, of those individuals that have yet to apply for their permit. So if you're in that situation where you have a son or daughter that's going to be looking to get their permit in the next few months, you can now do the written exam portion or that, that exam portion for the permit at home. Um, the website's listed down here at the bottom of the screen. When you go to that page, you have to complete an application to proctor for your son or daughter. And then once you're approved, you can set up um, the time to take the test. A link is then set, sent to you. You proctor that with your student from home. They can take that online component that they normally take at the treasurer's office or the, the DOT office. And then once that's passed, um, something comes from that that you take in actually to get your permit at the office after that time. But it's, it's, it's um, something you can do from home where you don't have to go set up that time to take that test. So iowa.dot.gov Iowa um, and then the rest of the link is down there. It's, it's part of the Skip the Trip program. But if you, um, that's just something we wanted to pass along in case that's helpful for you at home. Quick update on activities. Late last week, both the Boys and Girls Athletic Association announced a two week delay for the start of the summer sports season. So right now we're still scheduled for spring sports to start on May 1st with first competitions on May 4th. Um, baseball, softball has been pushed back two weeks for those first days of practices. Also because of how the calendar has fallen, Due to the changes with all of that, we do want to make sure that you're aware that junior high track has been canceled. Um, there would only be one meet left, and I believe it would have been the first day we return, first couple days we return with no practices. So junior high track has been canceled for the season, and my apologies to our seventh and eighth graders who are planning to go out for track uh, this year that that's not going to be a possibility. 
So let's finish this update with closing prayer. Last week, we sent everybody in the mail um, a prayer card, and I know you can't see this exactly on the camera. That's a little bit better. Um, to Our Lady of Perpetual Help. So if you have that, you can pull that out and join me in prayer as, as we wrap up today's update. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we turn to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace and healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful, wipe away their tears, and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your son, Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, everyone. We look forward to having students back doing school tomorrow. Thanks.